Hi everyone, this is Learning with Linda, and today we have Summer PEBT 2021 updates. Now, we have 44 states that have been approved, and we will also be talking about the third payment of the child tax credit, which remember, can be anywhere between $250 to $300. We also have information regarding the Social Security, which may not have enough funds by the year of 2034. And lastly, we have information regarding the PEBT state plan for the year 2021 through 2022 school year. So stay tuned to ensure that you receive these updates. Now, before we get started, if you are interested in the latest news regarding stimulus, child tax credit, SNAP, PEBT, and everything in between, Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button down below. Now let's get right to it. So first off, let's talk about the child tax credit. Remember that next week, the third child tax credit payment will be sent to millions of families. Once the September 15th payment goes out, there will only be three checks left in the year 2021. So basically, to recap, every month between July and December, the IRS sends an advance partial payment to households with qualifying dependents, and it will issue the rest of the credit in the year of 2022 alongside your state tax refunds. Also remember, the upcoming payment dates are September 15th, October 15th, November 15th, and December 15th, which is the last payment for the year of 2021. After that, once you file your taxes during the tax season for the year of 2022, you will receive the remainder of the money. Now, remember that the IRS will send you a document at the end of the year that will state the amount that you have already received through the child tax credit called Letter 6419. You're going to have to give this form to your tax preparer to claim the remainder of the money. Now, moving on to the child tax credit, opt out deadlines for the remaining checks. Note that the IRS opt out deadlines about two weeks ahead of the payment dates. So if you miss one deadline for a round of checks, your changes will take effect with the next round. And these are the same deadlines you need to hit for making other changes to your account, such as adding bank information or even changing your mailing address. So remember, you can no longer opt out of the upcoming payment on September. However, you can opt out for the October payment and the deadline for that is October 4th. The next deadline for that for the November payment is November 1st. And for the December payment, the deadline is November 29th. So moving on to Social Security, Social Security could run out of money by the year 2034. The new projections in the annual Social Security and Medicare trustees reports indicate that the Social Security's massive trust fund will be unable to pay full benefits in the year 2034. Of course, the good news is that it doesn't mean that Social Security will go fully broke in 2034. It will still collect tax revenue and pay benefits, but it will only bring in enough to pay 78% of the scheduled benefits, and this is according to the latest estimate. Now, to avoid this outcome, Congress will need to take steps to shore up Social Security's finances, as it did in the year of 1983, which was the last time the program nearly depleted its reserves. So because Social Security remains one of the most popular programs operated by the federal government, cuts of the program would be a political suicide for any party, and it is very likely that a compromise will be worked out between Democrats and the Republicans. So now let's talk about a very important topic. This is regarding the PEBT state plan for the year 2021 through 2022. Has it been approved? The answer is yes. However, it is a little bit different. So we know that last year, kids participated in distance learning, given that schools were not opened, and it was actually easier for states to calculate PEBT amounts due to the fact that kids did not have access to a school lunch, a breakfast, nor a snack. And of course, all this food had to be provided at home by parents. 
Now that some kids have begun to attend school in person, kids now have access to meals through their schools, and of course the USDA expects that fewer kids will be eligible for PEBT benefits. Now, let's talk about those requirements. So states must submit new plans for USDA review and approval before they can issue PEBT benefits for the upcoming school year. The second requirement is that federal public health emergency declaration must be in place. And thirdly, the child has qualified for free or reduced lunch. And remember, this is prior to the pandemic. And of course, it is income based. And lastly, the child must be at least five consecutive days out of school due to the COVID emergency and the school must be closed or operate at a reduced attendance. Now moving on to summer PEBT for the year of 2021. Here we have the daily rate total. So if you live in the contiguous United States, it is $6.82, Alaska $10.99, and Hawaii, Guam, Virgin Islands, and Puerto Rico, it is $7.97. Now what the federal government did is they took this daily rate total, which is pretty much made up of the lunch, breakfast and a snack, which are the free reimbursements, and they multiplied it by the 55 covered summer period, uh, which would be only weekdays, right? So that is how they got those standard benefit amounts, which is the amount you should be expected to receive in your PEBT card. So if you live in the contiguous United States, it is $375, Alaska, $604, Hawaii, Guam, Virgin Islands, and Puerto Rico, $438. And so next we have the three states that have been added this week for summer PEBT, and they are Mississippi at $375, South Dakota $375, and the state of Georgia $375. Now let's talk about those payout dates. So for Mississippi, one-time payment on October 31st, South Dakota, one-time payment on September 15th, and for those in the state of Georgia, it'll be a one-time payment on December 31st. And so here we have the states that have already been approved and their payments amount. So for those in the state of Alabama, it is 375, Alaska, 604, Arizona 375, Arkansas 375, California 375, Colorado, Connecticut, and Delaware all at 375, along with those in the District of Columbia at 375 and Hawaii, Hawaii at 438. And they will be joining the states of Illinois at 375, Indiana 375, Iowa 375, Kansas, Kentucky, Louisiana, Maine, Maryland, Massachusetts, and Michigan, all at 375 as well. Next, we have the state of Minnesota at 430, Missouri 375, Montana 375, Nebraska 375, New Jersey 375, New York, North Carolina, and the state of Ohio all at 375. And then we have the state of Oregon at 389 and the state of Pennsylvania at 375. Next, we have Puerto Rico at 438, Rhode Island 375, South Carolina 375, Tennessee, Texas, Utah, Vermont, Virginia all at 375, along with the states of Washington, West Virginia, and Wisconsin all at 375. Next, let's talk about those payout dates for the summer PEBT. So keep in mind that the states that are, are in bold are the ones with the upcoming payments. And then of course, I've included the states that have already been previously approved. So let's start with the state of Alabama issuing a one-time payment from September 10th through the 23rd. Alaska will be issuing a one-time payment in early September. And then we have Arizona that's already been previously approved, one-time payment in August, Arkansas one-time payment on July 21st. And then we have the state of California, one-time payment in December for those in the state of 
Colorado, one-time payment in late October, Connecticut, one-time payment on September 18th, and then the 25th. And then for those in the state of Delaware, issuing one-time payment on either July 8th, July 29th, August 19th, and September 9th. And then we have District of Columbia, one-time payment on August 25th. Hawaii will be issuing two payments, which was one in July and one in August. Next, we have the state of Illinois issuing a one-time payment between August 11th through the 20th, Indiana one-time payment in mid-June. And then Iowa has an upcoming payment. Uh, they were issuing two payments. Of course, it was already from August 11th through the 20th, but there's an upcoming payment in September from September 11th through the 20th. Kansas one-time payment on September 20th. The state of Kentucky one-time payment that was issued in August, Louisiana one-time payment in August, and then for those in the state of Maine, Maine has an upcoming one-time payment in the month of September. For those in the state of Maryland, Maryland will be issuing two payments, half in September and half in October. And then we have Massachusetts issuing two payments, one on July 1st and one on August 1st. And then for those in the state of Michigan, one-time payment on August 14th. Minnesota will be issuing two payments, one in July and one this coming month in September. Missouri, one-time payment on September 10th. And then Montana issued their one-time payment in August. Nebraska has an upcoming payment on September 8th. For those in the state of New Jersey, New Jersey already issued their payment, one-time payment in August. For those in the state of New York, one-time payment in the month of September. North Carolina, one-time payment in mid-June. Ohio, two payments, one in June and one was at the end of July. For those in the state of Oregon, Oregon will be issuing two payments, one in September and one in October. Pennsylvania will be issuing one payment anywhere between September 13th through the 24th. Puerto Rico issued a one-time payment in July. Rhode Island issued two payments, uh, one in mid-July and one in mid-August. South Carolina is issuing two payments, one in mid-August and one on September 30th. Tennessee issued a one-time payment in July, and then we have Texas that issued a one-time payment in the middle of September. We have Utah issued two payments already at the end of August, Vermont one-time payment in July, Virginia one-time payment in, at the end of August, Washington one-time payment in July, we have West Virginia one-time payment on July 12th and Wisconsin one-time payment on August 21st. And that is all the updates that I have for today. Remember to turn on your notifications button to know when I have uploaded a new video. See you next time.